Well, I've been running around like a madman for the past two days, and uh, here's why. I'm here at Tanglefoot, and today is a big day because I got a new kegerator. Uh, my old kegerator died on me, and so now I had to last minute buy one used, and this is the one that I got. I drove out to Taylor, which is about a 45 minute drive away, to pick this bad boy up, and now I'm trying to figure out where to put it, and I will explain why. So here's the old kegerator. I built this into the bar setup. You can kind of see the bar top is resting over the top and the kegerator is about, you know, three to four inches below that. And it's tucked away inside of this little recessed area. Unfortunately, this kegerator is about 65 inches long and this new kegerator is about 81 inches long. So it's a little bit longer than this other one. And unfortunately that bar is not gonna be suitable for this, which is kind of what I was envisioning anyways, because I want to put the service station out here. So for those that haven't seen this, this is the barbecue restaurant. Uh, this was the line that you walk down, go around and catering style, kind of follow the path and get your food. Well, now that the restaurant is closed, this area is pretty much unused, which is where I think would be the ideal location for a bar. So I've got a couple of options. This kind of a uh, stainless top bar top starts over here. There's a little well section right here that would be a good candidate. There's an even bigger section over here where the two steam tables sit. That would be a good candidate for the new service station. I'm back at it again. Yo, what's up? Okay, so the last segment, maybe I didn't even add this segment in there, but I filmed when I was up here on Monday night getting the new kegerator through the door and then ultimately through this little uh, passageway over here uh, to get it set up in this location where the steam tables used to be. Turned it on, looking good, and then I started messing around with the uh, draft system, so I got the taps installed. I basically just pulled the taps from the other kegerator by unscrewing these bolts, and they've got little uh, nuts on the, the receiving end inside of the kegerator, so I just disassembled the entire tap assembly because when I built out the first kegerator, I put these lucre taps, which I've gone in detail about in another video, and maybe I'll do another one if y'all are interested in seeing that, but these lucre taps <clears throat> do not fit onto a standard American uh, shank, and so I had to basically um, I had to run the hoses up through there and get them mounted in a, in a different way. And so I had to drill an extra hole in this tap tower. Anyways, all that to say, a lot of time and effort went into getting these mounted onto these. Now they've got different uh, attachments so that you can buy a $50 part and it just mounts right onto a standard American receiving um, shank, but whatever. So I wanted to reuse those instead of rebuilding them on the new system. So I just unhooked them from the couplers that were in the old kegerator and I've installed them over here. So I got that done and I was super excited. I left on a really high note. Uh, and so I blasted home and then my dad called me yesterday and said that the kegerator was not cooling down. So I came up again and found out that it was not running. And so I immediately went down and put my hand next to the compressor and it was hot as shit, which is can only mean one thing that the compressor was actually running the whole time. So I opened the access panel down here and found that there was some debris in there, but more importantly, a piece of metal had fallen when I stupidly unscrewed these, I unscrewed these screws over here to try to access the, the whole unit. And it dropped a bracket, a metal bracket down and it blocked the fan from spinning. So the fan was hot, super, super hot. The compressor was super hot because it was compressing the, refrigerant and the refrigerant was not basically transferring its heat energy away so it just got hotter and hotter and hotter well once i removed that and let it cool down for a second the fan kicked back on when i plugged it in the compressor started running and i don't know during the shooting of this video right now it actually just shut off so this unit cooled down to temp in about 30 minutes which is awesome so i went from thinking that i bought a dud 
refrigeration unit today and gonna have to I'm like completely broke right now I've spent all my money uh and kind of like yeah whatever just getting everything ready for new changes here and so now I've got this working kegerator and I'm very happy about it so I will continue to I continue to work on these um this manifold so I'm attaching new vinyl um tubing to this gas manifold so that I can hook it up to uh, pro uh, that regulator right there. Unfortunately, all of the gas line that was inside of the kegerator was chewed up by rats. So you've got little pieces like this where rats chewed through and obviously that's a gaping hole. Gas is not gonna stay in that line. So I'm replacing all of that with new clean vinyl PV, or I think it's PVC or vinyl tubing. Nope, PVC tubing, so gas PVC tubing, and I will use these compression fittings, clamps, to compress around the fittings with this nice little compression tool. Yeah, lots of stuff to do. Um, after I get this hooked up, I'm gonna have to get, get kegs cooling in another, another refrigeration unit so that they can go in here cold get the gas running to them, get them connected, and then start pouring beers on this. I don't know where I'm going to do a lot of things. So I need to, this is a completely different setup than the beer saloon setup. So I've got this new kegerator, but it's, uh, it's much bigger than the other one, which is great. And I'm gonna be able to basically hold four kegs, full, full half barrels at a time, which is exactly what I needed to do, but, I originally built the beer saloon out to be this very specific vibe. So lots of wood, very warm, uh, reclaimed wooden bar top, all these stools, everything was built specifically to have this kind of like Czech beer meets Texas saloon, Western saloon vibe. And I had my service station right there, which is perfect, right? Well, now I'm not gonna have the service station there, at least not for a while until I can get that kegerator that's behind there fixed. And so I'm moving the service station out here, like I said, but it makes it real awkward, or I'm thinking it's going to make it real awkward for service. So I'm going to have to be kind of in there and come and pour a beer and then take it back there. So a lot more walking, but ultimately I wanted a service station out here so that when you walk through the front door, you will see that this is a brewery and not just an empty barbecue restaurant, and then in the back, tiny little corner back there is a brewery. So lots of stuff, lots of information right there. I hope that made sense. If it doesn't, whatever, I got it all, I got it all masterminded up in my head. So a lot more stuff to do. I'm gonna end up cleaning this whole place up before tomorrow's service. And then hopefully we'll have beer on draft out here in uh, the front of Tanglefoot. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll film some of that. Well, boys and girl, here it is, the kegerator. It's all loaded up with some beers. I had to kind of rig these, these runoff hoses into these buckets. They have a, uh, they have a built-in, sorry, I'm taking my earbuds out. They have a built-in runoff system or drainage system, but the rats got to the plastic again. So all that is basically holes everywhere. So I just diverted all of them to drain into those buckets that I'll dump out at the end of the night. I did that on the other one anyways. It's kind of a pain, but whatever. I don't really have anywhere to drain it to it over here anyways. But yeah, so that is completely redone with new PVC gas hose. I used the draft lines from the old kegerator and now I've got these taps out front, ready to pour. And uh, yeah, now I've got to figure out what to do with all this space. There's quite a bit of space over here. The intent is to build a bar that runs kind of in tandem with this small bar. Um, those are the old steam tables. We're gonna get ready to sell those. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to bartend over here, grab a beer, 
and I guess I'll have to walk back this way. There's people in the beer salon. So that's it. Fun little project, but now I'm gonna go home. But first, I was doing it with an empty glass. And I said that I don't want it to pour over onto the edge. I pour the beer. And then just imagine it was beautiful. It was cascading down the side of the glass. I rinsed it off and then I placed it perfectly in front of you and you saw it and you thought it was amazing. So now I have this beer that I'm gonna taste. Yep, tastes good. Now let's uh, see from this vantage point, I could either set it there. You can see I already did this. I thought it was filming. Set it there from this vantage point. Yeah, I don't know. I really like the idea of it being out here. Um, like I said, this whole space feels really weird when I'm just stuck back there. So hopefully this will create more of that like beer hall dynamic and we can just have people lined up over here just, just drinking some Czech lager. But that's all I got for you, folks. Here's this cutie. And I will leave you with that. Nazdravi. Focus, please. Wee, wee, wee. All right, take three. Thanks, microphone. That's all good, it's fine. I'm actually gonna use that as a real life edit instead of using more time in the editing software and condense all the shit that I just said. So this is my new service station. This was the kegerator I was working on earlier in the video. It took much less time than I thought it was gonna take. I replaced all the CO2 hoses got all the draft lines installed, got the new taps installed from the old kegerator that died on me, and cleaned it up, got it pouring well, did a couple of canning runs on this bad boy already. Today is Saturday, January 9th. I got the date wrong. I said it was December in the last take that I did, but it didn't record it, so that's nice. And everything is going pretty well over here. I'm pretty stoked that I get to serve beer from out in front of the uh, brewery area. People are digging it. They're coming straight up here. They're ordering. So some of the challenges that happened initially was I had people going back to the beer saloon naturally because it's the best place to sit. There's Czech music playing on vinyl back there and it's a cool little bar. Well, I would go back there. They would order a beer. I'd come out here, pour the beer. I'd go back there, give them the beer, scan their card, swipe their card, keep their tab open. Whenever they need another beer, I would come back out here and fill another beer and take it back. And it was a lot of running back and forth, which I'm totally cool with. As long as people are ordering beers, I do not care. Uh, but yeah, that was a, a little challenge. So I started, you know, just kind of being out here, more present out here. And then naturally people started coming up to the counter and ordering. And then I had people sitting out here in the front, which led to another issue where everybody's out here in the front. They're ordering beers here at the taps. So the transactions were taking place here, but I was still taking the cards and running them back there to be swiped on the POS. So today I moved the POS out to the front counter here. And that's where it will live. Probably gonna end up getting a second POS just so I can have uh, two stations that I can swipe cards and take money at. Cause that's, uh, you know, more convenient for everybody. But without further ado, let's kind of look at the setup and see what's going on. I've got glasses here, a glass washing station, dirty glass bucket, wash, rinse, sanitize, drain, store glasses there. And I've got the taps, which I will, I'll probably throw in a little video of me pouring a beer because I don't do that too often, so. Then I've got the POS station right here. And just to show you the walk, 